So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now in this video we are going to be going over the dev diary that just dropped talking about the design process for the Great One Black Bear. This has been a really, really interesting dev diary from EW, so I'm really excited to go through it with you guys. And also, as a bonus, Jaxie Beard dropped this image into the Hunter official Discord of one of the fabled Glacier variants walking around on Leighton Lakes. But going on to the dev diary, the first part reads, Why the Black Bear? Anytime we implement a new Great One, there are several factors we consider when looking at a candidate animal species. Is the animal species part of the base game? Yes. This may seem counterintuitive to what a great one is, and it won't always be achievable, but we want all players of the Hunter Call of the Wild to have an opportunity to discover one of these fabled legends without needing to purchase additional DLC. How many reserves does that animal species inhabit? Once again, bang for your buck is part of the deciding factor. We want the Great One to be present across multiple reserves and not just the base game. This gives players a variety of locations and settings in which to hunt a Great One. What does the community want? We listen, we poll, we do surveys, and we look at analytics for the most hunted animals. Questions like, what do you hunt? How can we make something that already exists better? How can we deliver something to you in the best way possible? For example, a moose great one is very vocally asked for right now, but in light of these numerous considerations, we believe the black bear great one will be more widely hunted by the community as a whole. It's a tricky balance, and there will be players who would prefer another animal, but we always do our best to provide content the overall community can enjoy. And then it moves on to this section which reads, how can we add variety? This is a bit generic, however. We want variety in the pursuit of Great Ones, so in this particular instance, we thought we should take a step away from the animal species with trophies and try something different. This time, it came down to a decision between the wild boar, the coyote, and the black bear. Ultimately, the black bear won out because of the more interesting themes we could do with it. Designing greatness. There were lots of early concept ideas for the black bear, from unfortunate but almost comical encounters to the even more fantastical. Now, just going back to the section that reads, how can we add variety, the line that says, we thought we should take a step away from animal species with trophies and try something different, I think basically what they're just trying to say there is moving away from animals that have a very visible trophy, like antlers or horns, something like that. Because of course, wild boar still have a trophy, it's the tusks and the skull, and of course the coyote and the black bear still have a trophy in, again, the skull, which is what is scored and that is your trophy for that animal so i think that it was just a little bit misworded and it you know it should say with very obvious visible trophies like antlers because of course red deer having the huge antlers and of course white tail with the huge non-typical racks so i just thought i'd clear that up a bit but then we get to take a look at these black bear great one early concept sketches there are some cool ones in here we can see some of the ones that made it through but there's some really really odd ones as well with like the bear with the jar on its head a bear with a toilet seat around its neck i'm glad that that didn't get through honestly i think those are kind of a bit too much but there's one or two in there that I know we don't have from what we've, you know, what we see in this dev diary that I think are really cool. Like the one that's got the, it's like a white body with the grey, grey feet and almost like blue fantastical markings on it. I think something like that maybe at some point for like an event could be amazing. Something just really out there but really beautiful. I think, like I said, as an event animal, if we ever get events in Call of the Wild, I think that could be really cool. But we can see some of the variants in there that did actually make it through because we've seen them being shot now. Now, moving on to the next section, which reads, In the end, we knew it needed to be grounded in reality. While black bears have been known to get into places they shouldn't, we ultimately decided not to portray them in ways that could be viewed as cruel. Also, the black bear is not a confrontational animal compared to, say, the brown bear, so claw or bite marks from fighting were also a non-starter. We wanted the black bear great one to be something really awesome that players would want to pursue, so we used all the lessons learned from the previous great ones. 
The first thing we wanted to do was a model swap. We needed the Black Bear Great One to be extra chunk. So basically saying that, you know, it's going to be a heavier heavier weight same as all of the great ones have been so they want the model to actually be physically bigger which is something unfortunately we didn't see with the white tail we saw it a little bit with the red deer having some sort of extra muscle and extra fluff but on the black bear it is incredibly noticeable so here you can see a normal black bear versus the great one black bear model so the the, the great one there is obviously on the right hand side and you can just see how much bigger of a model it is that is a huge bear that is really really huge the neck muscles the chest of course it's got the uh the sort of rotund belly and it's a, just a rounder bear in general but it just looks so much bigger and i am so pleased this is something i really really wanted to see especially with like predator great ones great ones where there's not antlers or something visible i wanted to see a bigger model so i was super happy to actually see that the bigger model had to work with the existing animation rig, so we had to get creative in a couple of poses so the bear wasn't folding in on itself. And even though we weren't making a trophied animal, we still wanted to create that sense of chase, so we went pretty hard on the total amount of fur variations compared to previous other great ones. Now again, trophied animal, talking about the, the fact that black bears don't have antlers or horns or anything, but they still wanted it to be a unique trophy. Obviously, the trophy for these guys is basically like the fur. That is the trophy, the skin, and obviously as well, the black bears for the great ones score really, really high. I've seen, I think, twen up to 27 on the scoring for one of them, which when they normally max at 24, you know, it's obviously a bigger bear, which makes sense with the bigger model, so it's going to have a bigger head, a bigger skull. So yeah, that's still the trophy, but I, like I said, they're just talking about the fact that it doesn't have antlers or horns. But here we can see the Black Bear Great One concept art final and the six variations. So we have the two glacier variants as one and two. The third one, I'm not sure what it is, Number four is the spotted, five appears to be the fabled spirit, and six appears to be the fabled chestnut. Now, all of these look awesome, and I think that they were some pretty cool ideas. And here we actually see sort of like the final models for them. And you can see that the one that I wasn't on, that I wasn't sure what it's actually called up there in the top right corner. And it's absolutely beautiful. I don't think we've seen that variant actually be shot yet by anyone. But just look at all of these. I absolutely love all of them. I think they're so unique. And the more I see them, the cooler they are. My favourites, I think, still personally are probably the two Glacier variants. I just like the almost skull-like markings on the face. And also the one, which you can see in the top left corner, it does look like it's got scars on the legs. Which, even though it's a non-confrontational animal in terms of it's not necessarily highly aggressive... You know, they will still get into scraps, even if it's with other animals or they, you know, get caught up in wire fencing or something. Scars happen on animals, even if they're not the most aggressive animals in real life. So, yeah, I think they've done a fantastic job with all of these. The fable chestnut is beautiful. And like I said, that one in the top right, that's gorgeous. It's almost like almost cinnamon but lighter and then it's got the white on the on the chest and the belly by the looks of it and then that darker head really really beautiful i think there's some really stunning variations now moving on to the next bit which reads scoring without trophies now this whole paragraph is a little bit confusing so i'll read through it and then sort of talk about it after as mentioned previously we wanted to do a trophyless brackets read non dia great one but how does that work for scoring a great one? The answer to that is pretty simple. How do we score black bears already? That's right, weight. And with that big chonky model, we increase the weight scoring for the great one well above the existing record. So those of you paying attention to your spot and clue information will know real quick if you have a great one roaming the reserve with you or if you need to thin the crowd to potentially make room for one.
And then it just goes on to say, happy hunting. The black bear great ones are something special. They are diverse enough that every player will have a favourite version. Even if the black bear isn't a, fa a player's favourite animal to hunt, they definitely will be paying attention and trying to spot one, just in case. Now, just going back, as I said, to the whole scoring without trophy section. So there's a, an error in there um, on the fact that black bears aren't scored by weight in Call of the Wild for their trophy. It's actually to do with the skull. It's the skull and the skull size that's the trophy. Um, same as it is in real life. It's the skull that is scored as far as I'm aware. Um, that's the, the trophy for a black bear. It's not to do with the weight. Otherwise, the, the score would make no sense in Call of the Wild because max weight for a black bear in Call of the Wild is 290, but max score is 24. So those two figures do not line up at all. Um, and it will actually say trophy type skull. So it's it's the skull that is the trophy. So a little bit of an error in there with that. And saying that we wanted to do a trophyless great one. Well... It's not a trophyless great one because, again, the trophy is going to be in the fur um, because it's a unique fur variation and, of course, in the in the size of the bear in terms of its scoring. Because, as I've said, black bears max at 24 usually and I've seen 25, 26. And I th the biggest one I have seen posted was a 27 scoring great one black bear. So it's much higher than the normal scoring for their for their skull. But once again, it's not a weight-based score. It, it, it doesn't make sense to be a weight-based score. So yes, even though the, the, the maximum weight has been increased for the great ones, which makes sense with it being a bigger model, it's not the weight that is the, the trophy, if that makes any sense. It makes sense for a heavier bear to have a bigger skull because it's, you know, it's had more time to grow. It's a bigger, older bear that's just a really, really big bear. So, yeah, it makes sense for it to be a heavier weight and have a bigger head. But, yeah, there was, there was just a little bit of an inaccurate statement there. And as I mentioned before, saying trophyless it basically just means no antlers or horns of course with the red deer great one and the white tail great one the trophy is the antlers for the red deer as well it is kind of the fur type as well because of the unique fable spotted fur type but for the for the pair of them being deer species it is mainly about the antlers so that was like the main focus especially for the white tail where most of the time you'll be finding just a common fur type uh, deer but it's got this huge non-typical rack so just to make that clear the trophy is still the skull it's just a, a less visible trophy if that makes sense but the fact that the bear model is bigger I think that's what makes it a trophy as well as the unique fur type as I said so I just wanted to uh, clarify that a little bit as that was a bit of a confusing paragraph in there and it might have just been a slight mistranslation or something going on there but yeah just wanted to explain that one and then to finish off we have this beautiful picture of the fabled chestnut great one black bear which was the sort of banner for this entire dev diary Overall, I think this was a really, really interesting dev diary. I really love it, like reading through these dev diaries. I think it's really interesting. And I love to see behind the scenes stuff with concept art and see what their their thinking was. Because I think that maybe that gives us a little bit of insight for what we could expect for future great ones. So, you know, they said that the black bear is less confrontational than, say, the brown bear. So maybe if they were to do a brown bear great one, that's when we'd see sort of like a bear with like blood on its face and lots of scars and stuff like that as opposed to the black bear where they were thinking it's a little bit more of a, a less confrontational species so that's a sort of go away from that and just give it a cool unique set of fur types so yeah i think really really interesting and yeah i wanted to share with you guys because there's some really cool pictures in there let me know down in the comments what you guys make of this dev diary i will leave a link in the description for the dev diary if you want to go through and look at it yourself um but yeah that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you